G'day, welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is converting fractions across to percentages. Some of these are going to be able to be done mentally and some of these you'll have to use a calculator for. I've looked and seen uh, videos where they say you can do these mentally but really they've chosen specific examples where you can do that. So I'm going to show you how to do all types of ones, ones that you can do mentally and ones that you'll need a calculator for. So I'm going to start out with the ones that you can do mentally first. Say for instance you're given a fraction like this. 13 out of 20. Now the way that I would turn this into a percentage mentally, a percentage is a number out of 100. So looking at this denominator here, really what we're looking for is how we can get this up to 100. And to do that, how would we do it? We'd multiply by 5. So we do the same to the top here. We're going to multiply our top number by 5. So 13 times 5, the answer is 65%. Okay, and that's how I'd go about doing this. I look what I need to do to the denominator and then I do the same to the numerator and get my percentage there. Let's have a look at another example. So say for instance, I had seven out of 25. Once again, how would you go and get to a denominator of 100? And you could see here that you would multiply by four. 25 times four is equal to 100. So we're gonna multiply our numerator here also by four. 7 fours, and this gives us our percentage is 28%. Yeah, pretty simple, right? Okay, what about one more of these? A bit harder now. What about we go 36 out of 600? Now, once again, the goal here is to get a denominator of 100. How would you go from 600 and get to 100? Well, we're not going to multiply this time. We're going to divide by 6. So we're going to get our numerator here and also divide by 6. 36 divided by 6, we get our percentage of 6%. 36 divided by 6 is equal to 6. So you're going to see there, these numbers work rather well. And when you do that, it's really, really easy to look like you could do all percentages mentally. But that's not always going to be the case. I'll give you, for example, this particular one here. 29 out of 93. Now, all of a sudden, how are we, what are we going to multiply to get 100 here? You can say it's almost 100, so maybe it's going to be 30, 31% or something like this. But it's not quite. We want to get it exact here. So how do you go about getting this particular fraction as a percent? Well, you're probably going to use a calculator, I'm guessing. And the way I do this is as follows. Literally, this fraction here means 29 divided by 93. Okay, this line here means divided by so we're going to go top number divided by the bottom number. When you go 29 divided by 93, you get the answer of 0.3118. Okay, with a big recurring decimal there, there's no way you'd get mentally. So this is not a percentage yet, this is a decimal. It's a decimal, which is a number that's out of one. Okay, but we wanna change it to a percentage, which is a number out of 100. Okay, how would you go about doing that? Well, it's pretty simple. We just get this answer here and we multiply it by 100. Okay, so times 100 and we will change this decimal here into a percentage. It becomes 31.18%. And I just want to draw your attention to something here. That this decimal here, 0.3118, becomes 31.18. Because we're multiplying by 100, all we've really done is bounce the decimal place a couple of times. So quite often when we're working these out, what you can do is you can go as a fraction, you know, the numerator divided by the denominator, and those first numbers that come out, you can work your way around putting them into a percentage without doing that extra step of multiplying by 100. But if you need to, do that. So anyway, that's how you go through and change a fraction into a percentage. I hope this video was of some help. Uh, look, if you need any help with fractions, I in the description here, I have a link to an entire playlist looking at fractions, and I have a whole bunch of videos looking at percentages as well. And if you like the video, please remember, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.